Leon, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Chat TV. All right, Leo, let's do your love reading. For today. What have we got for Leo, please? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. Have patience. They'll be back. Yeah. That was the shuffle. Hang on. Yeah, I had five when I pulled it onto five card spread. Something's going on. Something's going on that's like legal. <laughs> This is a love reading, could be divorce. Things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to turn out. Nine of Cups in reverse. So, uh, I'm kind of getting that fight or flight feeling it's all very confusing. Uh, can't almost can't catch your breath. Tell me more. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? We need to have a talk. You're in your head at the moment thinking, I didn't see this coming. Really? Let's, let's go back a little bit. Maybe it didn't happen when you thought it would. Or like that sort of feeling when, let's say for instance, you've got a relative and you know that they're dying, but you're still surprised when they do. <laughs> you're still sort of like, ah, what? No, that sort of feeling. There's nobody dying here, by the way. This is a love reading. You kinda did see it coming a little bit. I know you think you didn't, but let's, I don't wanna argue. I don't wanna argue. There was just a little thought. There might've been a few sort of like, mm. That's unusual behavior. Anyway, blinkers on, I'm going to ignore it. I had a few of those when I was splitting up from my husband. I, I do remember one moment in particular of uh, just the look on his face. Just the expression and I feel like you you have that moment as well where you see the expression on your face and you know there's just an expression that tells you everything but then you're like oh blinkers on I'm ignoring it and I did the same thing saw the expression I was like oh well you we're not reading that Ooh, way too painful I'm not dealing with that la 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 I think that's kind of where you went here as well I think that their behaviour has been a very good indicator for you over the time that you were with them. Mm. 
let's say, for instance, were this person uh, a huge flirt. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying this was the situation. I'm just saying, for instance, I mean, I, I might be going there, but I don't want to trigger you. I don't want to rile you up here. Let's just say that this person was a bit of a flirt. I had a wandering eye. They're always like handsy, hands on, handsy with other people, with other, you know, say it's a guy with the ladies putting their arm around him. And you're just supposed to deal with it and you're a green eyed monster if you say anything or you're just, you know, you need to not be so possessive and jealous. I'm just, you know. It's just in my character, it's just who I am. It's, it's, it's not really like that, is it? And you sort of felt it coming. Can we talk about your first reaction when you did find out? When the relationship with them did end? Your first reaction was probably like, oh my God. I'm not crazy. I'm not mad. I feel like you've been slightly gaslit with this person. And now you're in that fight or flight energy. Anything else we need to know right now? Eight of Swords. This card, if I can get it not shiny. This card is like... I guess the regular generalized meaning of this is a prison of your own making. Like the prison that she's in, it's all in her head. She can escape from that quite easily. She's not bound to this and you aren't either. You can, you can leave this situation anytime you want to. You've got options. You're welcome. So what you don't know. Best card in the deck. The sun. The sun's up to heaven there. Looking behind me here. The sun's a great card. It's lovely. It's like lovely. Fun. Happiness. Joy. So that's what you don't know. All of this pain that you're going through now is leading to that. Anything else? You saw it coming. It's saying that you did. You might be like, I had no idea, but you did. You saw it coming. This is what you need to learn from this. Trust your instincts. Your instincts have been screaming at you for a long time about this person. And you kept putting the blinkers on. This is your lesson. Always trust your gut. Always trust your instincts and don't ever put those blinkers on again. If your intuition is telling you something, listen. Don't doubt yourself. And don't let somebody else say to you, you're a green-eyed monster. You're jealous, you're possessive. You're the one with the problem, not me. That's doubting yourself. It's judgment reverse here. It's doubting yourself. It's It's you letting somebody I want to say, like, how do I say that in a nice way? I'm getting semantic in my head here. Hang on. It's like your thoughts are straight. You know, you're like, I know. And then this person perverts your thoughts so that you're like, oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh.
Don't ever let that happen again. This is the lesson you've learned here. What should you do about this whole situation? We've got the Five of Swords. Okay. It's kind of about winning at all costs. And they're sort of, oh yeah, this is... I'm getting very similar vibes to my situation that I had. This was years ago, but... When you say no to somebody who's been treating you this badly, they're sort of like, no, no, I, how could you? I need help. I've been a terrible person, but don't, don't leave me now. You've got to like, just be like, screw you. I, I can't. Sorry, mate. you got to say no. You can't enable somebody like this to just keep behaving badly. There has to be consequences. This person needs to learn consequences. So that's what you need to know. That's that's what you should do about this. Don't let them feel sorry for themselves and, and draw you back in. No, I didn't mean it. I'll never do it again. No, nope, there has to be consequences. It can't just be you putting all the work into this. To make it work. Cut out anything that is no good for you. And the outcome here, this is no good for you. King of Swords in reverse. You're the Queen of Swords, baby. They're the King of Swords in reverse. You know, they're just a manipulative. Domineering. So many words want to come out. It's just an abuser. And they're manipulative. Those ones really tingle as I say them. I'm going to take this into extended after I've read this. I'm going to ask about this person for you. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. But let's read this now. When somebody who is a manipulator or abuser, when they're like that and they say, I'm coming back, I'm going to change... I'm going to make you happy. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. You'll probably get three weeks of loveliness out of them. Then they'll go back because that's who they are. They, they're they not going to change. This is entirely up to you. you. You Do you want to see that happen again? Do you want to watch them hurt you all over again? This is, I, I feel like it's up to you. I reckon, you, I, I feel like you probably tops up three weeks of a really lovely, nice relationship before they go back into their old patterns. Trouble is in those three weeks, you're, you're hurting hard and it's nice to have them finally where you want them giving you the attention that you feel like you always needed from them and deserved from them. And now you're getting it, it's just... Bit of sweet, really, isn't it? Your song of the day is... Baby, it's you, shana -na 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 -na. Baby, it's you by the Beatles. Many, many, many nights go by. I sit alone at home and cry over you. What can I do? I can't help myself. Baby, it's you. Wait, we're singing together, right? All right. And your moonology. Oracle card of the day. I'm going to get some more oracle cards. I don't really have any. I've got two decks. Look at the bigger picture. 
look at the bigger picture. <clears throat> yes, it is. It is. You knew it was coming, even though you feel like you've been knocked on your ass, on, on your butt. <coughs> even though you feel like you've been knocked on your behind. You sort of knew it was coming. You saw it. You saw the signs. So look at the bigger picture. This is this is how they operate. Okay. Thanks for joining me. If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.